Aloha everybody, Bobby Thornbody here, bringing you part 22 for my Let's Play of Dragon Quest Builders 2. Last time, we finished building the Dia Tree, and also found a source of clean water. So yeah, we don't have to work with the dirty water anymore for future stuff going forward. Hooray for that. <laughs> now it looks like we have a fight to deal with. That's going to be fun, I'm sure. Anyway, we'll be picking things up from there and seeing where things go. So let's get right back into things, shall we? Let's play. So, like I said, I've got a border now around the tree to somewhat contain the water that's been uh, made there. I have no idea why the one part of the water is uh, dirty here. It's done that in every other playthrough I've done as well. In fact, none of the water we actually use is dirty. I don't know where it comes from, but... I, it's not something that I can correct. It's never been anything you can correct in your previous playthrough either. Anyway, uh, let's talk to Malroth here and I guess we'll have to fight. So yeah, let's do it. I don't know if you can feel what's coming, Bobby, but I can. You bring me bad boons on his way and he means business. What an idiot, eh? We're gonna beat him up anyway and now we don't have to go and find him. Just have to cut through his monster minions. So are you ready to mash some monsters? Yes. Brilliant. When we win, we can have one big party to celebrate finishing the Dia Tree and beating the baddies. I suppose we'll see, won't we? Alright, let's do this. Jump. Come on. We got stuff to do. Thankfully all they're beating up is the underneath. They're not doing anything to the actual uh, base. Another positive side to the fact that it was built this way. He's knocking out his underneath thing. Part. 52 enemies we have to knock out here. Right, anyway. Right? Okay, 
do not like you. Attack the rock, that's gonna do you some good. Okay, done. Yay. I gotta level up too. Yay. Now rock gets stronger and Bobby reaches level 9. Maximum HP increase. Bobby learns a new recipe. Pot lid. Wooden top of a pot, fitted with a handle to serve as a shield. Defense plus five. Okay, well, that's something at least. Okay, and that means it's time for the actual fight. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do though is build up this little area right back here first. Next fight we do is the Bring Bad Boom. And this is not going to be fun. Alright, now, uh, uh, I'm going to work myself right back in a second. Okay, so. Enemies closing in, is he? Be there, and I'm gonna build the shield while I can. Pretty sure I'm going to need that. <laughs> ah, okay. So now another thing: the next uh, this boss battle has an item and uh, has an item you use is actually a missable item. It's an item that if not collected properly is something that cannot be added to your itempedia later. But unfortunately, the way to do it is so convoluted that I've never actually succeeded in doing it because it involves placing it, the item down in a specific place under, uh, underneath the ground in a certain area. But if it's placed in the random spot, it will uh, get overwritten when it's uh, finally, <clears throat> excuse me, when the battle is finally over because the uh, farmers will rebuild the, uh, or it's, will rebuild the farm as they, uh, any damage is caused to the farm afterward. So I have to fix the, Put the area up in a certain way so that when I place the item, the item is tucked inside of a spot beneath where they would be able to, the enemy would be able to get to it. And I'm trying to remember where that is because it's a certain number of spaces away from where the base actually is. And I'm hoping this is right. going to do
because it has to be two spaces beneath the base's level. But also still close by the base, just not uh, too close. Just not too close. I have to drop the item we're gonna get in there. But I also have to hope that the monkey doesn't destroy it. I have no idea if this is the right spot or not. I really don't. I'm probably gonna get this wrong. It doesn't matter because I've already got. I, because I already missed one item that is only obtainable if you know how to do a duplication glitch. I'm not gonna be able to get 100% of the item anyway, but I still want to try. Anyway, now that I got that little trench dug out, now I can get back inside. Okay, map. Thank you. Alright, here we go. I just have to hope that trench stays intact. Here we go. <clears throat> That's all his underlings dealt with. The big boss is finally about to show himself. If we can defeat him, the leaf of life will be ours. And the children of Hargon will know their days in this isle are numbered. Our homes, perhaps even the deity, may be damaged in the fights, but so be it. They can be, uh, they can be rebuilt. We must follow our, focus our entire energies on laying the pestilent primate low. <laughs> well said, Beardy. So, Bobby, are you ready to bash the brainy bad boon to bits? Yes. Good stuff. I won't let that overgrown ape get away with this. He'll pay for what he's done. Not just for Pastor Al's sake, but for everyone on this island. So let's go, Bobby. Let's clobber this massive moron and bring life and light back to Furrowfield. Let's hope. Thought I river rooted out that filthy weed. Now if I knew you you've rebuilt it, larger and more loathsome than ever. Finally something that's really worth destroying. I'll make you taste just a bit of despair that you 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 will never build again. Ugh, is he quite done monologuing? I'd rather skip ahead to the part where we give him a good beating. Melting. We're gonna be we're gonna give it a hundred OP too, um, guys. We're not gonna let that ape anywhere near a deer tree. Where is it? The fish will be cancelled. He may be bigger than all of us, all of us combined, but we shall not lose heart and we shall not lose hope. Bobby, Malroth, we stand with you, whatever that monkey throws at us. <laughs> well said, you guys. Alright, everyone, let's show this overgrown ape what we're made of. Hoo hoo hoo, so be it. I'll destroy the lot of you in the deer tree to the moon. In the name of the High Priest Argon! Green Bad Boon is trying to destroy the farm. I need to get out of there quick. This is not good. If you keep slamming in the deity like that, it'll smash the whole thing in no time. You can't just build a wall, he'll plow straight through it. We need to think of a way to stop him, and quick. Okay. And yeah, we're supposed to build the... Okay, the trench is still there, but fine. We didn't touch the trench. But... Doing that, I need to make sure I can actually get two little trench I built. Okay, I can. Ah. Hey, 
Hey, Bobby, how are you holding up? Ugh, it's bad enough this guy's ugly now. He's leaving all these ban disgusting banana peel skins all over the place. Hold on, banana skins are slippery, right? Maybe we can use them to trip him up and stop him in his tracks. Come on, Bobby, grab him with your gloves and see if it works. First. They're dealing with that. Get this in here. We just hope this is the right spot. Barely made that. I just barely made that. That was close. <laughs> with anger. Okay. Too bad. Ouch. Not happening. Not happening, buddy. Sorry. Gone. Hooray. And look what we found. Oh, you now off level increases. Yay. Oh, it gets stronger and Bobby reaches level 10. Maximum HP increase. 
Okay, now before I touch that, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do something else because I don't trust myself. I'm gonna dig a couple more other trenches a little lower and see if that makes any difference. And I'm also gonna build one inside the village area too. So switch to here since there are still a bunch more banana pills I can use. Just as a precaution. Yep. Trust myself here. I just don't. I'm gonna do a little bit. Two underneath where the base is. Inside the base and two outside of it. Hopefully, at least one of them sticks around after they be rebuilt the, the uh, farm. Find out. Again, not a big deal if this doesn't end up working out, but I do want to try. So, we'll see. Maybe I'll get lucky and one of these will stick around. Okay, and the last one I'm going to use, I will take on the level ground for this area. Yeah. Okay, now I talk to them and we'll see what happens. Bobby obtains the leaf of life. Victory. Haha, <laughs> we did it, Bobby. We beat the Brainy Baboon. By the way, what was that shiny thing you picked up back there? Pebbling bat mandrels, you two. How can you chatter so cheerfully when our home is in a state of disrepair? Come, people of Furrowfield, let us fix the damage right away. If even one of them stuck around, I did this right. So yeah, the ones inside didn't work, but that's okay. This was toward the former glory. 
any of the ones outside make it or did I put them in the wrong spot? Ah, shoot. Yeah, I put it in the wrong place. That's okay. It needed to be farther out than the light. Darn it. Oh well. Like I said, it doesn't really matter because I didn't actually, I wasn't going to be able to get 100% anyway. And I was never actually going to use the, the, uh, the peel anyway. But it would have been nice just to be able to say I had it done. Eh, but, like I said, whatever. No big deal. Alright. Well, let's just finish the chapter. Okay, so we are going to go over here and we'll talk to our friend. I can't thank you enough for helping us defeat the brainy baboon, Bobby. And just like Wrigley said, you have the leaf of life. Now that we found it, we can finally make the water of life. Here, take these. Bobby obtains three cabbages. Bobby obtains three sheaves of wheat. Bobby obtains three hints full of sugar cane. Bobby obtains three tomatoes. Bobby obtains three pumpkins. That should be enough to make the purified power we'd need. Uh, I knew we'd need all the crops to make it, so I kept these ones safely hidden away. The rest is in your hands, Bobby. Take it out of the workbench and squeeze it all down to the drop of water into a drop of the water of life. Okay. I will do that. Hey, you did it, Bobby. You made the water of life. Nice work, Bobby. So that drop of water contains all the energies of Furrowfield's five crops and you power the water, the leaf of life. Cabbages, wheat, sugar cane, tomatoes, pumpkins, all that, sh all in that shimmery little sphere. That's right. All five of the crops passed our assets plant. With the flowers of the covenant and the crops of Furrowfield, we can finally finish the deer tree. All we need to do is pour the water of life on the top. I've marked out the location if you'd like to do the honors, Bobby. <laughs> and although we're approaching 30 minutes, because this is the end of the area, I am going to go ahead and just finish it off. So, we're going to keep on going here. Okay, so we're going all the way to the top. Do, do, do. All the way to the top. And yeah. Huh? Yay! Look at that. Hooray! Life and Light return to Furrowfield. So you can see to success, mission accomplished. Complete! Hooray! Brave young builder. By, the, by thy hand I've been born anew to watch over Furrowfield once more. The blessed breeze that flows from my branches shall drive away the ill wind and spread light and life throughout the land. Thou hast my thanks, Bobby, for all thou hast done. Yippee! Look, Bobby, look, furrow fields overflowing with light. It's, it's beautiful. That night, the people of Furrowfield hold a humble banquet beneath the boughs of the fully grown deer tree. 
As their thoughts turned to the struggles of their ancestors, they gazed up at the deer tree with tears of joy rolling down their cheeks. But their tears were soon dried by the soft and gentle breeze that flows from the boughs above. Then, morning comes. Bobby, <laughs> you must be tired after all that parting you did last night. Still, after all your hard work building the deer tree, I think you've earned a break. All of us were pretty blooming All of us worked our blooming fingers to the bone to build her, but we couldn't have done any of it without you, Bobby. I still think it's totally wild that a dopey looking guy like you could do such crazy serious work. Talk about goals. Or if he has back to his old self again, my dreams really have come true. I think I'm finally starting to understand these dreams you keep mentioning. There's something you set your sights on and never give up on no matter what. That's what it means to have a dream, right? <laughs> You've hit the nail on the head, Malroth, my boy. My dream is to become mayor of this fine village, and let me tell you, I shall never give up on that. Thank you, Bobby, for everything you've done for us. I'm so happy to have met you and to have learned how, to br how brilliant building can be. Alright. You made the India tree and saved Furrowfield Farm from the children of Harkon. But isn't there something you're forgetting, Bobby? The whole reason you and Malaroth came here was to find people to take back to your island and help turn it into a plant lover's paradise, right? <laughs> you're right. I totally had forgotten about it. Lula would kill us if we went back empty handed. It seems like there are quite a few people in Furrowfield Farm who are helping to go with you. If I were you, I'd speak to everyone and find out who wants to take a trip to the island of Wicked. Alrighty, well, let's start here. Excellent work, Mr. Bobby, sir. The whole island's such a beautiful shade of green, and it's all thanks to you. When we met, I called you a heretic, and I'm ashamed that I did. You turned out to be the savior of Furrowfield. I've heard that you're heading home to your own island, and I'd love to join you. But somebody needs to stay here to maintain the wonderful farm you built. And I've decided to, build, to be the builder this island needs and do just that. Perhaps one day, if I find time, I might write you a letter. So don't forget me, Bobby, and come back soon. Alright. Hey. Woof, woof, woof. Ruff, woof, woof, woof. Woof, 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 woof. What's her problem? She looks so sad. Let's leave her be, Bobby. These puppy dog eyes are really bumming me out. <laughs> Your family totally wasted that gross painting bad boon. Look at how epic the deer tree turned out to be. So, what's this idea about you going home now? Are you seriously going to build all this totally rad stuff and then just, like, bounce? It's really going to be, like, Toad's dull around here without you. What do you say I come along with you to your island? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yes, thanks, bro. You totally won't regret this. Oh, you told me about this Harry Hermit dude. I'm super hyped to meet him. When we get there, you seriously have to introduce me. Okay. Next. Thank you once again, Bobby. You didn't just bring peace to our home. And like our home, you brought peace to it, too. Is it true that you know us will return to your own island soon? I very much like to go with you, but there's simply too much that I want to do here. Long ago, Furrowfield's bounteous wheat harvest was used to make bread that was famous the world over. That's why I decided to start my own very own bakery. But I'll make sure to write you a letter at the very first opportunity. Oh, and do look after my dear sister, won't you, Bobby? Hello, Bobby. Thanks for helping bring life back to the island. Earth is looking good, lush again, and I couldn't have done it without you. By the way, is it true what happened in your own? Are you two are heading home to your own island soon? I don't want to say goodbye just yet. I want to keep building with you and learn all the tricks of the blooming trade. 
I ain't gonna stop you from leaving, but do you think I might be able to come with you and help you build things back on your island? Yeah, of course. Yes, you and me and Mal Ross are gonna make a heck of a team and will call us the Furrowfield Farm 3. No, they won't. If anyone does, they'll have me to deal with. You, I didn't mean it. Just getting a little carried away. Don't hurt me. <laughs> Don't worry, Perry. I won't hurt you. After all, we're gonna need people like you to do all the work. No problem. If you got a job that needs doing, I'm your man. Consider it my way of paying you back for all the hard work you two did here. Speaking of which, Bobby, you'll be welcome back here anytime. Just hop on a boat you're sailing on, you'll be welcome with open arms. So don't go smashing everything up and take it back with you. In fact, you've done such a fine job on the farm, I'd rather you didn't smash it up at all. Truth is, I thought you might need some materials to take back with you, so I've been saving them up for this very occasion. I'll show you everything I got when we get, to, when we get there. Alright. Allow me to thank you again, Bobby, for your pivotal role in the life and light furrow field. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs> I guess, of course. This is not goodbye. We'll should be returning to your island together, yes? Surely, Bobby, surely you wouldn't dare leave me behind. I've been like a father, a brother, and a mother to you. It'd be a tragedy in triplicate. Again, he says he wants to be our mother. What the heck, Bonanzo? Let me ask you just to be sure. You will be taking me along with you to your island, won't you? Duh. <laughs> of course, my boy, of course. I don't know why I even asked. I can't wait to get settled on your own. I'm so excited to start building, I can hardly stand still. Ha ha ha. If you were to assign me some sort of mayoral role, it would be all the more ideal. Alright. Who else we got? Damn it. Do you feel that wonderful grace, Bobby? It's so cool and gentle. It feels ever so lovely. I had to thank for it. Until we built the deer trees, it would never feel nice at all. The air wind was stinky and crying and downright horrid. Do you remember what we talked about before, Bobby? I told you that we'd very much like to go to your island with you. I still feel the same way, so if it's not too much trouble, would you take me with you? Of course, Lillian, yeah. Splendid. Let's settle then. I shall study under you and learn all there is to learn about building. That's for all. Some of them need to change the next gen generation of Furrowfieldian farmers. It isn't just because I don't like saying goodbye, honest. Okay. And hello, Wrigley. Hey, hey. You made my dreams come true, so yeah. All the islands covered in lovely greenery, as far as everyone else's eyes can see. And when work gets out to our air to altitude to it, I'll be famous. I'll be a superstar in a wicked world, I will. Honestly, I can't thank you enough. But I can try to try. I hear you're looking for folk to help grow plants in your island of awakening. That's what you came here, isn't it? Well, I was about to go back with you and help you out. What do you reckon? Absolutely. Uh, all right, thank you, Bobby. I can't wait to cover that whole island here. It's a beautiful green grass. I'm ready whenever you are, handsome. Just say the word and I'll get wriggling. Okay, that's it for Bobby. Under the tree, I can't see what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay, so now we go back to Rosie over here. Hey, Rosie, come back here. Have you spoken with everyone, Bobby? I know it can be hard to say goodbye, but that's part of making new friends. Sooner or later, you go your separate ways, but you can't let this stop you from moving forward. I. I'd love to go with you too, but I can't. I have to stay here on the Furrowfield farm and help out. I have to stay here in Furrowfield and help out on the farm. What? But I thought. I guess, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know it's not very funny, but Pastor Al taught me that joke, taught me that joke, and I've always wanted to try it out. Of course I'll go with you. 
There's far fewer than that tree to look after right now. And the children are going to be causing any more trouble here either. The island's got a plant, as a, the island's a plant lover's paradise again. That's why I wanted to go with you to your island. I want to do more building to make bigger and better things. <laughs> Look in the island of a weekend and do a plant lover's paradise too. Complete. Well, we've said it. Uh, well, we've said our goodbyes and everyone's ready to go. But we still need to wait for Brownbeard to get back. That guy really is hopeless saying he'd be a personal ferryman. But he sails away as soon as we arrive. Where do you even go? Mr. Bobby, sir, Mr. Bobby. There's a boat in the dust with a strange fellow in a turban at the helm. He says he's come here to pick you up. Oh, that must be your famous ferryman, Bobby. You certainly got a good sense of timing. Come on, everyone, let's hurry to the docks. Alright. Well then, off to the docks we go. I'm walking. Alright. I don't even remember the name I used, the voice I used from. It's been so long. Ahoy there, Bobby. Ahoy there, Mauro. I was just about to head out to see you looked for you. Anyway, these fellows in strength and uh, sand scrubbers are for yours. Uh, are these fellows you cheated and to take back to the island? Yes, we are. I think you for taking us, Captain. That's not even any voice. I know that's the voice I used. Anyway. Yar, Bobby, me literally. You gathered up quite a crew. Whatever. Lulu's trying to kick up a gale if we don't get back soon, so let's climb aboard. Yar. You, we don't use him all that much. There'll be a point later in the game where we will use him, but... Yeah, he's, he's literally only there to ferry us back and forth, so... Anyway. <laughs> Bobby, Mara, Rosie, are you all leaving already? Uh, you just... You were just there when you found out we were told that... That, that he was here, so... Uh, duh? Were you not paying attention? Anyway. Well, we've come to see you off. I know I just said this before, Bobby, but thank you again for everything you've done for us. We can handle everything here on the island from now on. We should keep building until our strengths and fully intend to surpass even legendary Bobby one day. Woof, woof, arrrr! Now, Lillian, remember to do as Bobby and Malroth say. Don't expect him to wait on you hand and foot. I don't know what are you implying, sister? It's I to be looking after them. <laughs> Come on, Bobby. Let us set sail. Uh, oh, Bob, wrong voice. Come on, Bobby. Let us set sail. We're all extremely excited to see your island. Farewell, everyone. You must come back to visit us one day. Take care. <laughs> all aboard for a trip abroad. Time to set sail. Alrighty. Where'd we go? Saying goodbye to Furrowfield. For now. And so Bobby's adventures on Furrowfield come to an end. He and Malroth set sail with their friend, new friends back to the Island of Awakening, where Lulu eagerly waits their return. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby retrieves his stuff from the storage staff. Lulu, Bobby, uh, Lulu, Malroth. Looking back, I was starting to worry you might never return. 
What? Did you accomplish what you set out to do? Did you find all the plants and people we need to turn Lutopia into, into a green and pleasant island? This ragtag rabble you got along with you wouldn't be our new citizens, would they? Hello, oh, you must be very inclusive. My name's Rosie. We heard something about all the refugees from the road ride over the flower field. And yes, we're here to help. What the heck? So this is the famous Isle of Awakening, is it? I'm very happy to be here. I ain't never been on a furrow field before. How'd you manage without us, Lulu? That skellywinkle stealing screwball didn't try anything funny again, did he? Not at all. In fact, we got along like a house on fire. That funny old fellow told me everything there is to know about this island. <laughs> you speak of the far-famed Harry Hermit, yes? You must introduce us post-haste. The meeting of our island's masters can brook no delay. Maybe you should come comb that beard first. You look like a bush that's been dragged through another bush backwards. Uh, Bobby, I just remembered something that you can certainly slip me not. <clears throat> this is a post box. Now you made some furrow field can bring you letters by sea snail mail. So semaphore can't hold a flag to that. Oh how wonderful! I thought you'd be able to keep me informed all the comings and goings back home. I'll give you a shout whenever this letter arrives. You have to come and collect them though. I get land sick if I stray too far from your ship. Al Whitney gets his very own post box. Now then, Bobby, take me to this mountaintop temple where the Harry Hermit resides. If no one will introduce me, I shall introduce myself. Uh huh. Well, that'll have to wait, because we're going to go ahead and save things and stop it here. Okay, so, Furrowfield is done. <sighs> that, uh, went overall relatively smoothly. Um, I think I know where I went wrong with the issue with the bananas. But I'm not really worried about it because, as I said, I already couldn't 100% things because another thing you had would have had to have collected would have involved doing an item duplication glitch, and that's the seed that we used to plant the uh, the uh, dia tree. But anyway, one island down, and now we have a uh, way to make food. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode, you guys. Hope you had fun. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave this video a like. Comment if there's something specific you enjoyed. And if you haven't done so already, and feel up to doing so, feel free to subscribe. It really helped my channel out. For now though, this is Bobby Farmbody. Aloha, and I will see you all next time.